and their player Omar Ingi Magnusson. And for Benfica, who won 40-39 uh, in the final game, we have the head coach Gemma Rodriguez and the player, and at the same time also the joint top scorer of the whole season, Petar Djordjic, who scored exactly 108 goals, the same amount as Halili Aganiac. Now, all words from me, and I leave the floor to the guys here. Gemma, please, if you could start with the opening statement. Uh, okay, first, uh, say sorry to Madabur because the press conference needs to be before, and, uh, and we forget, and uh, sorry for this. Uh, second, uh, thank you for the match, for, for, for the fair play, for everything. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, after this, uh, what I can say, uh, uh, this is amazing for us. No? Uh, can play one final against Madebur, uh, assured one of the best teams in the world in this moment, uh, and only play against them for, for us is amazing. No? Uh, after we have a lot of lucky uh, uh, in some moments of the match with our fans, with everything, and. Uh, and we are so happy to, to, to come celebrate this title that for us and for, for our humble here in Benfica and, and in Portugal is so, so important. This, this month uh, we go to have uh, 90 years that we, the humble in, in Benfica start. And uh, I think it's an uh, amazing trophy for, for these 90 years uh, in humble in, in Benfica. And uh, I only can say that uh, thank you for everything, for coming here and uh, for, for can celebrate this title. Thank you very much. Uh, Bennett, uh, the final was lost uh, in a very thrilling uh, fashion, so uh, the words won't come easy, but try to comment it as well, please. Yeah, at first, uh, big congrats to Shema, Peter, and uh, the whole team of Benfica um, to win the trophy. Uh, but <laughs> Today I lose my, my words, it's difficult to find the right words. Uh, it was a big fight um, for my team and maybe t too many uh, missed shots, but it's a final, it can happen all. And now we are very, very unlucky, but we have to go on for the next, maybe um, have a nice party, Schema, Peter. Uh, Again, congrats. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we move on to the players. Petar, what are your feelings after this game? First of all, also thank you for the congratulations for the fair game. Well, it's hard to, to say something because uh, it's not uh, a lot of time that I'm really speechless and full of emotions after such a handball game. I don't know what to say. I'm, it's my third year, third year here in Benfica. To see this arena, to see our supporters, to see our team fighting like this against, for me, for sure, one of the best teams in the world. I, I just can't say this is handball, this is really our team this year and I'm so proud of everyone in this team, starting from all the players to the trainers to the staff. We are really one big family this year and really I... I I don't know what to say. I think that really we deserve also this title this year. It was not easy. Unbelievable teams uh, we played and I think, uh, yeah, this is everything I want to say to thank everybody who come here today to support us, to thank the team for this fight. Unbelievable, happy and yeah, thank you one more time. Thank you. Happy end was not uh, the case for you, Omar, even though you had a great game individually. So, what are your feelings now? Yeah, uh, first of all, the congrats to Benfica. They played a really good game. I, I, I thought they, they played excellent and, and had a, I think every player from them had a good performance. So, big respect to them. Uh, yeah, it was, it was tough for us, but we, we, we fought the whole game and, and tried our best. Made some mistakes, but that's, the, that's a part of it and we have to live with it. But, uh, yeah. We gave it our all, and, and that's the way, way it is sometimes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now the round for you guys. Uh, any questions in English for these gentlemen? Can we have the microphone for Pion, please? Thank you. One question to Peta and to Chema. Uh, Sergei Hernandez was awarded MVP. 
Could you just please give some words to his performance this weekend? Okay, I, I, I play a lot of Final Four. I don't win almost never. Uh, Final Four in champion when I was player. And I always say the same, no? In one Final Four, almost the more important is, is your goalkeepers uh, are good. If your goalkeepers are good, uh, you have more chance to, to win this Final Four. Uh, yesterday and today, uh, Sergei uh, was amazing. Uh, he saved a lot. He, uh, he, he, he wake up us in the difficult moment. Uh, it's, it's incredible the, the work that he do. No? Uh, we have problems today also with, uh, with uh, Gustavo, with Cardoville, because in the warning up uh, he has a little bit uh, some problems. And, uh, and we have one of the two best goalkeepers, I think, uh, that we can have. No? Uh, we are uh, a lot of proud of them, of the both, of course, of, of Sergei for these two matches that play in this final four. But also, this is work of the, all the team. No? Uh, the goalkeeper say, but uh, the defense helped too much to him to, to, to do this. No? And uh, we are happy for him and for them, for Gustavo and, and Sergei, and, and for, of course, our team. No? Yeah, like Chema said, I think uh, tournaments like this or big games in today's handball, it's almost impossible to win without. Uh, Good goalkeeper, and uh, what to say for Sergei? He was incredible. I think all the uh, all the season. So, uh, of course, it helped us a lot. But I almost uh, also must say that I expected this also from him because I know what talent and what goalkeeper he is. So I am happy that he showed his uh, his strength, and this is just uh, yeah where we are now also because of this. Thank you very much. More questions. If there are no more questions, uh, you can speak to these gentlemen uh, after the official conclusion of this press conference. I would like to thank you for the participation throughout the whole tournament and also to Benfica for the help with the organi organization. And although this uh, EHF European League season is over, the club season is not over yet. And <coughs> we hope that you stay with us. Next weekend, we have the great tournament EHF Final for Women in Budapest. And mid-June, we all go to Cologne to uh, see who will be crowned as the EHF Champions League winner. Thank you very much, and good luck.